I've been curious about creativity for as long as I can remember. I guess we're all creative when we're kids, right? Picasso said that every child is an artist. The trick is to remain an artist as we grow up, right? But beyond that, um, creativity has inspired me in other ways. It led me to study acting after high school. Um, it's what led me to pick up a guitar and start writing my own songs. And it's what led me to collaborate with other artists and musicians on various projects, uh, a children's musical, uh, workshops for kids' drama, numerous garage bands. <laughs> um, but creativity itself, this is the thing that's really uh, intrigued me, right? This phenomenon of human creativity, this ability that humans have to imagine some larger possibility and then with our tools and our techniques to bring that into existence, right? It's an amazing thing. And of course, we're living in this era where many of us are expected to be creative on demand, right, in our jobs. And so what I want to do today is to offer some tools, some techniques that you guys can use in your jobs, in your everyday lives, from the world of improvisation. Now, improvisation, uh, we all kind of have an idea of what that is. How many people have been involved in some kind of improv theater before? Let me see a show of hands. Good. How about improv comedy? Anybody? A few lesser. A lot of us think about improv music, right? Jazz, maybe the, the jam band uh, aesthetic. So all of these things are improvisation, right? And what's interesting is that it's not a thing at all. It's a process, right? And in fact, we do it all the time. Every conversation is a form of improvisation, right? We don't decide what we're going to say before we start having a conversation. It evolves, right? So this is really a, a, a useful tool. So I want to offer three principles from this world of improvisation that we can use every day. The first one is actually responsible for me standing here today. I had just finished reading uh, an amazing book uh, by Stephen Nachmanovich called uh, Free Play. And it's all about incorporating these elements of improv into your life. And one of the tenets is to say yes to life. Right, Mark Marsley talked about this last year. In improv, it's saying yes and building on that yes, right? If you're on stage and someone comes onto stage with an idea, a new concept, you accept that idea and you build on that idea, right? So I had just uh, finished reading this book or rereading it again. And uh, I'm a musician. I play regularly around Lincoln. I just finished playing a long, weird, improvised jam at one of my regular gigs. And a friend came up to me and said, Derek, you should do something like this for TEDx. And I said, in the spirit of improv, yes. <laughs> and I will improvise during the presentation. So we can really feel what it's like to be on that experimental kind of living edge. Um, and so that's what I would like to do next. But I'm going to need your help. Are you willing to help me do this? Yes. yes. Okay. So glad you said yes. <laughs> OK, so an uh, interesting phenomena called entrainment. We're just going to all start clapping, and eventually you guys will sync up. And I'll use that as the rhythm for the improv jam. So let's just start clapping. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
The second principle is then, don't ignore the mistakes. Because that can be where the most interesting stuff happens. Of course, to notice that difference, you have to be paying attention. The third principle is to be present, to be aware of what's happening in the moment, right? Be there. You have to almost offer your presence as a kind of gift to that moment. You have to present your presence as a present to the present, right? Because when you do that, when you bring your full self into that moment, you recognize those mistakes for the opportunities that they are, then you can say yes to those ideas. You can say and to those ideas, and you can build something, something entirely new, something that you weren't expecting to build, something original, something innovative, something no one ever invented before. I thought that was an idea worth sharing. Yeah. <laughs>